There's some trouble stirring, that much is for sure. I don't just mean Almada. The Dire Wolf belongs to a pack of absolute wackos, and they're arguably more dangerous than the Mafia. Right. I think I heard the name of their group. Wasn't it the Society? Yeah. I'll tell you about them when the time's right. It feels like the CID is cooking up something fishy, too. And while our interests sometimes align with the guilds, we're still not exactly buddy-buddy. <sighs> the more I think about it, the more I realize we could use a few more allies. Or at least another pair of hands. Another pair of hands coming right up! Oh, maybe I should knock before I shout. Hold up. Fairy? <laughs> nice to see you guys, even if it hasn't been super long. Thanks a bunch for all the help you gave me. I know I should have given you like a billion thank yous after everything you did. Sorry. Oh, there's no need to apologize. <laughs> Nor is there any need to shower us in thanks. Yeah, I got showered in Mira, so I'm good. You went back to your village after we split, right? And I'm guessing you came here with your dad this time. Well, uh, he kind of sort of maybe disowned me. What? What? Well, I did disobey a direct order from the Corps. I'm also a little too weak for their tastes. Abi told me to go on a journey. He wants me to see more of the world. And that brought me right back to your doorstep. You granted Ida's final wish and taught me an invaluable lesson. And we warriors of Kruga always pay our debts. So, let me help you out with your work. I can do lots of things, so please hire me. Consider yourself hired. Welcome to the Arc Ride Solutions team. Hey! It's my call, part-timer. Oh, I almost forgot. Hubby asked me to give you this, Van. A letter? Oh, no. Guessing he wants me to look out for his darling daughter. Dear Van Arc Ride. Thank you in advance for indulging my daughter's selfish request. This was not the first time you aided one of our own. Once again, I was thoroughly impressed by your combat prowess. Though I do not appreciate that you robbed my daughter of an opportunity to grow. I would be lying if I said I was not beside myself with anger. If you wish to make amends, you must rectify that loss by personally nurturing her development. You may be as harsh a taskmaster as you must. However, should you dare to make any untoward advances on her, you will either face death at the hands of our entire core, or be forced to take responsibility for your actions for the rest of your days. Regards, Hassan al -Fayed. Are you alright, Van? You're looking rather pale. Um, so what does it say? That's on a strict need-to-know basis. Anyway, where are you even gonna stay? Huh? What? He rented one of the upstairs. That's how it goes. I could have put in more effort. Oh, I'm so happy! Farida Al Fayed, reporting for duty. I'm quick on my feet and pure chaos on the field. You won't regret having me around.
beautiful dance. Aaron! Over here! Look at me! He looked! He's so hot! Hell yeah! This guy's a you damn tease! Give us some more! He always gets so carried away. The little conqueror of Lord So never disappoints, I see. You must be so proud to see your childhood friend doing well for himself. <laughs> I suppose. Though, I've got my eyes on someone better. Is that so? Anyway, I'm glad that tonight's show ended without incident. Do you think he was able to let off some steam? I presume as much. So that's their move. Now then, who shall I have handle this in my absence? <laughs> Even the dudes were falling for me by the end there. Not that I'm surprised. This is me we're talking about. Wonderful work as always, Aaron, but must you rile up the crowd like that? My fans deserve special treatment. If that bugs you so much, fire me. You know we can't afford to do that. Yeah, our shows wouldn't be half as popular if it weren't for you. Even if you get us into a bunch of trouble, it's hard to deny the passion you bring to the stage. Like I always say, nothing beats a show where the performers are just as into it as the fans. Except for the after party, of course. Uh, Aaron! Say, let a firecracker up your ass. The hell happened to you? It was those outsiders again. They jumped us out of nowhere. Uh, Sid and Huang got sent to the clinic. <laughs> those northern bastards don't know when to... If that's how they want it. Let... <sighs> That's the stuff. When it comes to sonnets, nothing beats a good loily. Van, are you in there? Uh, the floor is so chilly. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you really are here. The hell are you barging in on me for? They told us at Monmar that you might be here right now. So, we decided to join you for a soak. Speaking of, we should try the loily. Is that a kind of bath? I only know hamams. It is. I don't know all the specifics, but I think the temperature control is different. Ooh, let's go find it! What's a man gotta do to enjoy his bath time in peace? Uh, you know what? I'm going for a second soak later, and I'm treating myself to some gelato after. <laughs> 